Good morning, everyone. This is my class online for fifth grade secondary level. My name is Cesar Flores, and the topic for today is this. The topic is comparatives. What are comparatives? What are comparatives? <clears throat> in this case, this is the structure for comparatives, but what are comparatives in this case? Comparatives, <clears throat> comparatives, when you, when you compare one noun to another noun. That's comparative. When you compare one noun to another noun. So you compare one noun to another noun. Okay, or maybe nouns or <clears throat> a simple noun, maybe a group of nouns also here. Okay, let's continue. Here you have the structure. In the majority of them you have this. The majority, you have this. In the majority, not all. And in some cases, you have this. In some cases, look at this. This and this. And here you have always, for comparative, you use than. Than, always for comparative. Let's continue now. Here we have some examples about the different comparatives that you have. Pay attention to this. For example, here you have. Here you have. One syllable, one syllable adjective, you use, in the majority of cases, you use this. Here, when it's one syllable, okay? Example here, clean, cleaner, Old, older, and always you use than. What's the meaning of than? K. Okay, example number one. Cordova is cleaner than Huelva, or the cathedral is older than the museum. What is the adjective? Clean. What happened here? Cleaner. What is the adjective here? All what happened older change when you compare cuando vas a comparar you use this in this case er es comparando Córdoba with Huelva estás comparando the cathedral in this case with the museum estás comparando uno con otro in these cases are now this is a noun to Another noun. Noun with a noun. Noun with a noun here, okay? That's one way. Remember, with one syllable. Next, next part. Here. Here we have the following. One syllable, but what is the difference? It's again what this consonant plus vowel plus consonant. This is the structure. And the double final consonant, you are going to repeat. For example, here you have this and this. Example here, big. Okay, here you have consonant, vowel, consonant. And what are you going to do here? You are going to repeat this. Repeat letter G in this case. Add this and use that. Again, here in hot, here you use the same. H consonant, vowel consonant. In this case, you repeat this. Okay? And always you use, in these cases, you use ER and always you use them. In the majority of cases, you're going to use them. Example number one. Madrid is bigger than Salamanca, in this case. Bigger. Number two, Cordoba is hotter than Granada. Madrid, Salamanca, and you're comparing, you're comparing Cordoba, in this case, with Granada. Okay. okay, in this case. 
any questions here you have it okay that's that's the difference in this case you are going to use comparative in this case in this case you are going to use one syllable one syllable but a different component here consonant vowel consonant okay pay attention to this vas a comparar uno con otro puede ser grupal puede ser singular en este caso estás comparando ciudades madrid Salamanca, córdoba granada etc okay <coughs> next let's continue For example, here, you have another example here. With one syllable, what is the difference in this case? In this case, you're using this. What is the difference? Because the adjective ending in E. When you have this adjective, for example, here, safe or large, you are going to add this, R. Example, safer, larger. And you use them always. Example here, New York is safer than Mexico. You're comparing New York with Mexico in this case. That's the difference. And remember that this is about one syllable, only one syllable. Okay, no more. <clears throat> and finally, here we have this another Mexico City is larger. Another example here than Madrid is another example. Okay, here, to continue and to finish this part, pay attention to this because the majority confused, pay attention to it. Another, when you have this, two or more syllables, more mass, in this case you use more, and always use than. But what happened to the adjective? In this case, keep the same force and maintain it. For example, here, here. Keep the same. Se va a mantener, no, hay, no me vayan a poner. Teacher, maybe interest tinger. No, it's incorrect. Okay, teacher, maybe expensive. No. No, it's incorrect again. Okay, it's incorrect. Don't do, don't use that. Okay, don't don't use that. In this case, no. Okay. Now examples here you have. Examples here you have. Example number one, you have this. Madrid is more expensive than Cadiz. In this case, you're using expensive. How many syllables? ¿Cuántas syllables tiene? One, two and three in english the syllables are for sounds son por sonidos no por escritura okay expensive so you have three syllables for that reason you use more and here you have that example number two barcelona is more interesting than bilbao in this case in first team you have this okay interesting for for that reason you have three syllables in this case you use more that's the difference about syllables and remember use adjectives acá ya hemos trabajado la, unas clases que son adjetivos entonces acá lo que vas a hacer es identificar el adjetivo y hacerle el cambio correcto de manera comparativa okay okay please uh, another for example here here in this case is different because what is the difference in this case you're going to with y adjectives ending with y example here you have bc but here you have this pretty and here you have this what happened here you add this that's all simply cuando acabe en griego example Number one, New Delhi is busier than Huelva, or maybe this building is prettier than the tower. Chicos, acá lo que ustedes tienen que reconocer cada adjetivo. Si ustedes no identifican el adjetivo, se van a confundir. Okay? Another here we have, irregular. 
What are irregular? What are irregular? In this case, are irregular because they change. Ellos van a cambiar. For example, good, better, bad, worse, far, farther. El cambio es distinto. Ya no, no vayan a cometer este error. Teacher, eh, good. Ok, teacher. Gooder. No, incorrect. Maybe teacher, bad, bader. No, incorrect. Ok, el cambio es distinto. Por eso es irregular. Por eso es irregular. Number one. <coughs> Number one, in this case. The weather, the weather in Malaga is better than Burgos. In this case, you're comparing the weather. And here, the traffic in Rome is worse than in London. Okay? Here you have this. You, you have this adjective, this adjective. And here you're comparing the weather in two different places. In two different places. Okay? Actually, this is that's all. <clears throat> okay? That's the difference. 